Hey, welcome back, Slay the Spire, episode number 11, time 4, Defect Ascension 2, normal en enemies, excuse me, are deadlier. Uh, I don't expect this to be as easy as the last time we did a defect run, where we got a pretty good deck with a bunch of orbs and electrodynamics early, uh, and a bunch of focus as well. Uh, what do we got here in this terms of this path? We have... A super elite on floor six, which is always a fun time. I don't think we're going to be taking that. Uh, more likely, we're going to be going up like this way, and then taking two elites. Seems good. We have a shop early as well. Can we get some gold? No, we can't. Uh, we could get a rare card to obtain if we get a curse. We'd have to remove the curse at the shop almost certainly. Uh, or we could just upgrade Zap, and I think upgrading Zap is a reasonable choice here. It's sort of the long-term play. We don't need the three potions to fight uh, a floor eight elite having already gotten a campfire and a bunch of cards, so I think we'll be fine there. Um, so I think the we got Hexaghost as well at the end of the fight, so putting damage in the deck is a good idea. I think we're going to upgrade our Zap, and I think that's going to be pretty good for us for the, uh, for the first act. Uh, we don't have a shop either, so we could go to this shop here. Um, I think I prefer saving our money. Maybe we get a shop... Uh, elsewhere, maybe we get some events to be able to spend our money. Maybe we take seven damage to a jawworm on turn one of the uh, of the run. Uh, that could happen as well. Who knows? So uh, that's a bit unfortunate. These are some good cards, though. Uh, Cold Snap and Sunder both definitely worth uh, considering. They're both better than Skip by a lot. Um, which do I want? I think I want a Cold Snap. We'll just keep it nice and simple. Uh, get a Frost Orb in play, that's always going to be good. Uh, do we remove here or do we upgrade Cold Snap? Um, I think maybe we remove it. Again, we, we can we can afford a little bit to go for some longer term plays here rather than the short term of getting the power upgrade. Um, or rather, rather the short term power spike of getting the upgrade. Uh, I think we can look to put a few more cards in the deck. There's the Sunder again, and I think I'm going to take it this time. Because uh, we removed that strike, and I'm happy that we removed that strike now that we got that sunder. Uh, we're hopefully not going to lose 52 HP here doing this, or maybe we will. Okay, we lost some HP. We got a Mercury Hourglass for it, which is definitely worth it. That's a very good relic. Because it lets you do stuff like that. And, oh, we can't quite kill there, but I think we can, we can forego the energy gain because this is a guaranteed kill next turn. Uh, ball lightning gives us a little bit more damage. And I think, I mean, the, these are the, like the, you know, these are three very good attack commons. Or is Sunder a common? Sunder's an uncommon, but in any case, three very good attack cards uh, that we're very happy to add to the deck in Act 1. They will help us a lot. We'll upgrade the Sunder, because that is a high impact upgrade. As you can see, good fight. Uh, smoke bomb might be useful. Do we take a second ball lightning? I'm not sure we do. Uh, we could take a static discharge. That will help with hexaghost in particular. Um, do I want a static discharge? Uh, yeah, I think we'll take one. I think that can be our upgrade as well when we get maybe here. Assuming we have health for it. Uh, do we go immediately? What have we got in the deck? Now, we, we go when we get our Cold Snap in play, I think. I think that's going to be fine. Or we could Sunder. Sunder might be better than Cold Snap. Just a bunch of damage, 32 damage. Well, that's an unfortunate draw. Get a Lightning Orb for it. Uh... I think we can cold snap, defend, defend, and we take six, and that'll be all the damage we take this fight, because we have Sunder. Uh, Whetstone is nice, uh, another cold snap or a seek, seek is very good, again slightly longer term play, it's bad against Gremlin Knob, do we care about that? We might be resting here by the way, depending on what those events are. I'll take the seek and we'll upgrade two strikes, which is... A decent power spike this early. Oddly Smooth Stone is fantastic. Very good indeed. Um, could go this way as well. What does that do? That gets us a hallway fight? I don't think we want a hallway fight. I think we want to go this way. Scoured by Flames. What is this? This is uh, 
centuries, right? Do we care about this? We're definitely resting here if we do this. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Okay, so we're hoping for... Sunder, I guess. So we can kill whichever one of these that doesn't hit. We'll seek our zap just to get something in play. Maybe we should have defended. Uh, defend, defend, defend. Completely protects us here. So I think we'll do that. That's probably all the damage we're taking in this fight. Because uh, we can just do that. And then we can do that. We don't need to dual cast, obviously, because the uh, block doesn't do anything for us. Uh, that guy's dead. Uh, we have to defend this, but we're totally fine. All right, so we're at 17. Uh, we get a turnip, which is great. We can no longer become frail. Self-repair might just be the sort of thing that we need. Uh, we are resting here, unless this is a heal. So I think, yeah, we'll take self-repair. Um, face trade. How bad is this if we get turn one weak? Uh, potentially bad with the Sunder. Not too bad. The chest I don't really care about. Uh, so we'll do this. And we get the turn one week. Okay, well, that's uh, probably the worst one we could have got, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go here. We'll rest. 39 HP now. Because, yeah, this guy is very scary for this uh, for this deck. Uh, we're probably using our weak potion here. That turn one draw also left an awful lot to be desired. What do we want to do here? I don't think we want to play anything. Seek makes him stronger. This turn, what, what does this hand do next turn? Sunder does 16. Maybe we seek. Hang on, alright, 45, 36. So if we seek a strike plus, he's going to be at 39, 36, 33. And then the Sunder kills with the Lightning Orb. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Uh, the Ball Lightning's actually better. So we take 10, and that's all we take. Doink. Uh, we get a more bank, which is even more gold. Uh, speed Pot. I think this Speed Pot is better than that one, so we'll do that. Um, what else do we want? A... Cool headed or a hologram. Hologram might be good. Hologram and seek are a good combo. That means if you draw the seek with the hologram in the draw pile, you can get something from the discard pile, and there's all sorts of fun you can do with that. I think maybe we take the hologram. We're at 36 health, which is fine. Um, we don't have anything that does AoE, do we? So I think maybe we're just defending here. We just have a Mercury Hourglass. We'll just wait for that to kill, I think. Seems completely fine. And yeah, the little slimes will always attack. Sunder does a lot of work here. So it is that. So it is... Yeah, we can just do that and then kill. Uh, bullseye. Hmm. Any of these good? We have some lightning, but not a huge amount of lightning. Um... What are we upgrading? That's the question. Are we upgrading the hologram? Might well be. I guess we should have waited for self-repair as well this last fight. Um, yeah, I'll take a bullseye. <clears throat> Just a little bit more damage. It'll help with Hexaghost. Uh, we'll upgrade the hologram, as I mentioned. Alright, so... Turn one week, so we'll take the opportunity to get our stuff in play. Uh, what's the most block we can make? I think we have to just get a defend in play. And I'll play Cold Snap as well, just because we get an extra Lightning Orb from that. Instead, it just charge actually blocks for us a little bit there as well. 
Uh, we drew no defensive cards here, unfortunately, so... That really sucks. Uh, we'll play self-repair to get it out of our deck. Uh, he's still vulnerable to orbs, so I'll do that. And again, we get another lightning orb for being hit. We can do that again. I think this time I will defend, even though it's less damage, because I don't think we're in a particular rush here. I think in terms of damage, we're totally fine. Take two from the burn, that's fine as well. Uh, seven times two is a bit spooky, but not too bad. And I think this actually kills him when he attacks us there. So that is very nice indeed. Okay, so we have... Uh, a creative AI, which might be the scaling that we need now uh, for Act 2. Uh, it also means... So one minor reason I'm going to take the creative AI here is because we might well be taking Sneko here. If we're off at Sneko, we almost certainly take it. We have a Sunder. Uh, even though we have a couple of zero-cost cards as well, it's just a very powerful relic. So I think we're going to take the creative AI... And we were not offered a Snacker, we were offered a Runic Pyramid, though. Which I think we're going to take. What are the other options? Black Star, I don't think the deck's strong enough for that, and we don't have AoE. Uh, Astrolabe, that would be three strikes, probably. Especially with our oddly smooth stone. Defends are actually quite good cards. Um, two of the strikes are already upgraded, though, so that's super awkward. We're taking the Runic Pyramid. And we can build into stuff that works well with that. Uh, we still only have three energy, so we've got to beware of that a little bit. But any cards that give us energy are now much better than they were before. Um, what are we doing here? I think we're going to the shop in the middle, and then we can take the two end of Act Elites. That seems good. And we can go through the question marks as well. Yeah, let's do that. So self-repair is uh, nice to have, especially when you're being hit for 12 on turn 1 with no defensive cards. That's unfortunate. Maybe should have been the weak potion. Maybe this should be the weak potion. I think it should. Uh, we can bullseye defend defend, I think. does mean it's going to be awkward to play the creative AI, and it also probably means that we're going to want to upgrade it as soon as we can. Uh, what do we want to do here? Uh, defend hologram, I think. We'll hologram the zap, get a bit more damage. Uh, we can't seek anything useful, so we won't. Uh, we'll seek the bullseye now, I think. So we can bullseye dual cast and then ball lightning for the kill. We took some damage there, unfortunately. To still chaos is nice. Play the top three cards of your draw pile. Uh, none of these cards are particularly good. Uh, yeah, reprogram is still absolutely terrible. Uh, the others are not good enough, I don't think. We could take another cold snap, but I don't think we need it at all. I think we need block cards, and cold snap doesn't really cut it as a block card with uh, only three energy. And no focus. Uh, this is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I think we're going to seek our hologram. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to go defend, hologram, defend. So that we take four. We might be losing our gold here. We've got a lot of gold to lose, fortunately. Oh man, this is terrible. I'm going to use our speed potion. We can play... Okay, so we can kill this guy maybe with Sunder. Uh, so we'll just wail on the other guy maybe. Can't do much wailing though, to be fair. Uh, we'll do that and then that. And then we'll do this. Well, that didn't go according to plan exactly, did it? Uh, that does 32 damage, that's not quite enough. 
So we'll do this. That and then that. Alright, well, we got through that. It wasn't exactly ideal. Uh, Storm is worth thinking about. I mean, our lightning orbs just aren't that good, though. Is the problem. None of these cards are particularly what we want to be doing. A little bit too expensive. Oh boy, this is a very scary fight. Um... We seek asunder? We do 18 if we do that. Don't think we do that. Yeah, and we don't have block cards. That's the, uh, that's the issue. We're doing the same thing we did last time. Defend hologram, defend. So that we don't take any damage. Turn one, we're weak as well, which really sucks. Uh, I guess we're t I guess we're doing... Killing this guy is neutral in terms of damage. Maybe that's okay? Take... Yeah, okay, so it doesn't actually matter whether we kill this guy or not, so we can put the Frost Orb in play and then we'll... So we did kill him, so we take 18. Uh, I think we dual cast the Orb now. Get a bit of defense in. And get a bit more defense in. Painful fight. This is always a very difficult fight, this one. Now we'll get a self-repair in play again. We can defend, defend. <clears throat> so I think... Hmm. So we'll do that just so we, just so we have a defend in hand. And yeah, we can do something like this, this, this. Is this a kill? Not quite. I guess we take more damage. And then we send up for the kill. So we've taken some hits from these hallway fights. That charge battery looks very good though. Reinforced body plus is also very good, obviously. But charge battery gives us energy, which I think is something that we're gonna want quite badly. So I'm gonna take it. Ah, oh, it's a reinforced body though. Ah oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take the reinforced body, okay. That's just too powerful a block card. This is 10 block X times, which uh, is super, super useful. We have ways to get it back into our hand as well. So yeah, I think we're going We're going to this shop. Uh, we are upgrading all of our defense. That is exactly what we need to do. Super, super good. Uh, you can see they now do 9 block each. So we're much better at blocking than we were just before. Duplicate a card in the deck. What do we duplicate? Like, there's nothing good enough to duplicate. <laughs> I really don't know what I want to duplicate. Maybe we duplicate the reinforced body. Because it's upgraded. Seems good. Alright. So we're, I don't think there's any need to rest. I think we can play creative AI. Or maybe there is a need to rest. I don't know. We can bail out of this elite fight if we need to. Uh, we can upgrade... Yeah, we'll upgrade Creative AI. Like, we really struggle to play it at the moment. That's a big part of our issue. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, War Paint looks good. Abacus actually looks good. We only have 20 cards in our deck. Uh, Abac Hang on, Abacus Deep Breath is a wombo combo. So we can get 6 block whenever we play Deep Breath, which is super good. Uh, do we remove a Strike? I don't know if we do. I don't think we need to. Like they're good enough cards at the moment that it's fine. I think we can. I think we can abacus. We could do something like a beam cell. Yeah, we do a lot of attack damage. Oh, there's nothing that's like super inspiring here. The war paint. What would the war paint hit? It would hit dual cast. It would hit seek. In fact, it would hit exactly those two cards, and they are two very good upgrades. So let's do that. Um. Abacus Deep Breath, I think, is always happening. Maybe we could have taken the Deep Breath first and then and then taken the War Paint. Maybe we wanted the card draw. Maybe not, though. I think it's more important for the 6 block than for the card draw. Uh, do we want to buy a potion? I think we want to buy a block potion. I think maybe then that will do us. We could 
Uh, the other thing worth thinking about is whether or not we remove a strike. But I don't know if we remove a strike. Who's our boss? Hyper Beam. Alright, let's go with this for now. Here is Mr. Sneko. Now we'll put our stuff in play. Sneko Runic Pyramid. This is scary. Certainly scary. Be kind, Sneko, be kind. That's not kind. Oh, man. Our reinforced bodies are going to have to do work here. Yikes, man. Sneko, calm down. Calm down, my dude. Oh, we can put our static discharge in play, which we should. Grab our zap so we can play it for zero. Um, we can dual cast this orb as well. Seems good. Play that and then reinforce body. As we are full blocked. Again with the 29, my god. So we're taking 10 if we defend Cold Snap. And then we can Sunder for the kill. Alright. Um, we could take a Sweeping Beam. It's not great though. Some AoE? Nah, not good enough. Not good enough at this point. Uh, 24 gold and a smiling mask is... I don't think it's better than a sapphire key. I think I'll take the key. We don't really want to be removing cards. Like we would if we were offered the opportunity for, for free, but it's not a big priority for us. Um, we can go up this way, or we can go and get some campfires. Campfire is important because we need to upgrade... Static Discharge. So yeah, maybe we do that. So yeah, we're kind of weak at the moment. We are kind of weak at the moment. Alright, so we can... What can we do here? We can get our cold snap in play and maybe our self repair as well. Seems fine. Wait to play our deep breath until we get blocked from it. Oh, we can sunder now as well, which is really good. Uh, we can even play creative AI, so we'll do that. Discharge and find the dazes aren't too bad because we'll, we'll always have stuff to play. We're basically weak forever. Uh, we have a static discharge, so taking one is totally fine. Alright. So that gets us through this fight. 36, man. 36! Good thing she died. Uh, Equilibrium Plus is just a big block card. Do we want that? We have lots of big block cards. I think we have enough big, big block cards. I don't think we want it. Uh, we'll take the campfire. We'll upgrade Static Discharge. Now it gives us two lightning whenever we get attacked. Which is going to be quite often here. All right, so so we always do that. I think we always seek for the static discharge and like reinforce body. Yeah, 
Or maybe, yeah, reinforced body, I think. Means we take nine. Uh, it's our reinforced body again. We sort of need that. We'll try and kill this guy again. We'll take a little bit of damage. But we will get to cycle some orbs, which is nice. Okay, so we can just reinforce body here, and that'll be okay. In fact, we can dual cast as well, and we get the kill there. Nice. All right. So in that case, we can self-repair, defend. And we'll just make sure that we are... As healthy as possible. Bag of prep is very nice. Uh, power potion instead of smoke bomb. Yeah, sure. Uh, double energy. Oh yeah, we take that, don't we? That gives us a big turn. Giving us a big turn is a uh, pretty big deal for this deck. Um, seeking, like, just stuff. What have we got in hand that we want to play? Not particularly a lot. I think Ball Lightning Zap. We can go like Ball Lightning Zap Strike Hologram Zap. Pretty good first turn. That gives us a Sunder Kill, which is really great. Uh, plays our Self Repair, and we'll defend, defend. Uh, we'll play our double energy now, just to get a big turn. Can do okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Put that in play. And that is a kill. And we gained health from that fight, which is nice. Uh, Dexterity potion would have been okay, but isn't tremendous. Steam barrier plus, or a turbo. Turbo combos very well with double energy. Let's do that. Let's do that. So yeah, turbo makes it so that we get eight energy in a turn, which is obviously too many than we can too many for us to use at the moment. I think we're using our block potion here though. Because we didn't draw our block cards, which is incredible given the number of block cards that we have, but you know. Do be like that sometimes. Yeah, we took nine there. See, so yeah, our defense and strikes are surprisingly good, but like, we need something else. Uh, we can do. Oh, yeah, we can do a lot here. So we can turbo double energy, and then we can sunder. And then we can seek for our bullseye and strike. Bullseye strike. Dual cast. Hologram. Sunder. Boom. Yeah, there we go. So it's that sort of nonsense that we want to be doing. There is a defrag plus, and I'm not going to turn that down. That uh, makes our deck a lot better immediately. Uh, we will upgrade... Or are we resting? No, we don't need to rest. We can upgrade uh, double energy, I think. Gives us an even bigger turn, means it costs zero, so... We don't particularly now need to combo it with the... Uh, turbo. I think we're always playing a power potion, and yeah, echo form is exactly what's needed. I think we'll play the other one as well. Electrodynamics, very nice. So that should make this fight pretty straightforward, honestly. So... We can do that. We can also deep breath. It gives us block. Oh, nice. Um, so dual cast... 
defrag. We have dual cast in hand already. So yeah, we'll get defrag in play, and we'll also get a Sunder as well. Let's just do that. I guess we didn't need to do that, but still. We did anyway. Now we'll play Sinks because we have Creative Air in play, so that's uh, card draw for us. It's a biased cognition. Can we play this yet? Maybe not. Oh, we have Echo Form, of course. I'd forgotten we had Echo Form. Gets us a really big turn, if only we had the card draw to support it. Uh, what have we got in our discard pile? We can do... Yeah, we can just cycle more orbs. I think that's fine. Oh. We didn't have hand space. That was dumb. That was real dumb. Get this out of our deck. I'll play Static Discharge as well. So for Hyper Beam turn, we can... Well, we can... there's a lot of nonsense we can do. The easiest nonsense is something like... I guess we're doubling something. <laughs> um... Yeah, we can double Electro, that's fine. And then we can, like, Turbo Double Energy... Strike Reinforced Body? Yeah, we can Strike Reinforced Body. And that full blocks us. So this deck is sort of capable of doing some degenerate things. Now we should obviously have played the Bias Cognition first. But it doesn't matter, because he's dead. We're sort of halfway to degeneracy. This gets us most of the rest of the way to degeneracy, though. Echo form is exactly what was needed. Um, busted crown. Is that good enough? We're definitely taking one of the energy relics. Am I okay with a curse in this deck? I think I am. I think I am. We don't necessarily even need to open the chest. Because we took our blue key already. So we'll see how this plays out. Could be good for us. We need to take the Super Elite, obviously. We need to go up this way as well. We do get a shot after the chest, so we could potentially remove the curse there. And that fourth energy just makes life an awful lot easier. It means we can do something like this. Get our Echo Form in play. Only take one damage. Now we can... Yeah, seems good. Seems good. Although, again, we're taking a tiny bit of damage. Uh, we probably shouldn't have taken that damage, to be honest with you. Yeah, we have self-repair somewhere. In fact, it is there. Self-repair is a pretty good pretty good card for us at the moment, especially with Echo Form. Uh, Chaos Plus. Is that good enough? Don't think so. Nah. What do we want in this deck now? We want more focus. We want maybe some Frost Orbs. Like a Glacier would be a very good card. Uh, no, thank you. Red Mask for 412 gold. No, sir. Okay. So this is a large hit. Um, don't think we can play Echo Form, can we? I think we have to defend against this. How much is this damage? This is 41 damage. We could... We could play Echo Form if we did this. Then hologram the turbo, then play the turbo again. And then do that. 
We have two voids in our discard pile, but they shouldn't be a problem. Also, I'm going to avoid playing uh, Deep Breath because I don't want to draw the voids. So something like an Electrodynamics would obviously be fantastic. Uh, this is being doubled, so we can do that. No problem. Uh, we can defend, defend, self-repair just to get it in play. Just in case we take damage, but I don't think we're taking damage. I think instead we are killing. Genetic algorithm. Is it too late for a genetic algorithm? I think it is. Don't think we need to take that. Uh, recursion, what does that do for us? Not a lot. Steam Barrier is another block card. I don't think we need another block card. Consume is interesting. So is Sundial, actually. Maybe not interesting enough. I think maybe now we can remove strikes. They're bad enough in this deck now that we can start to remove them. Uh, compile driver, I don't think we need the card draw. Take a master of strategy, that gets us to defrag a bit sooner, gets us to echo form a bit sooner. Hmm. Don't know, maybe we just buy the focus potion. We've got another shop later. Maybe we'll get something good there. Focus Potion might be good for elites. I don't think we want any of these relics. Sundial is maybe interesting, but our deck is still 24 cards, so we're not actually procking it that often. And we don't necessarily need the energy either. Well, that turn one week is really painful. Well, we can do this. We can actually do that again. <laughs> That's one way to block. I'm not getting attacked at all this turn, so we can do that. And then we can play loop as well. The goal, obviously, of doubling the... Oh, never mind. I was going to say double the defrag. I think we still will double, double the defrag, and then we'll play electro. And yeah, that's uh, it's going to get us there, no problem. Capacitor. There we go. Now we got some scaling. Now we got some scaling. Just in time for Nemesis. I think this is a good time to seek our Echo Form. Maybe our Zap as well. We can Echo Form Zap, Hologram Zap. To get a bit of damage. 45. That's mean. Not if you're going to be like that. I think we'll just do that. Let's double our defrag, and then we'll get a bunch of orbs in play. Seems fine. We've got another reinforced body just in case he decides to do another big hit, which of course he does. He is just a big old meanie. and then we'll just get some orbs in play. Didn't need to play that other defend. That's fine though. Oh my god, calm down. Calm down, sir. We don't actually have enough, uh, enough block cards here, do we? Yeah, just a little bit short. We got self repair in place, so we're only actually losing one HP here. And he gets dunked by a double sunder. Uh, swift pot, mm, probably not. Second hologram. Maybe a second hologram. Yeah. 
Just anything that gets us deck manipulation seems to be very good. Uh, I don't think we take Madness, do we? How good is Madness? Not good enough. Lose 4 max. Okay, Giant Head could potentially be a problem. Don't know, we have our Echo Form. And we'll get our creative AI as well, just to have for a future turn. Uh, we'll play... Get a... Do you want to double the static discharge? No, I don't think we do. We've got too many other things to double, including the creative AI. That's probably the most important thing to double. Okay, so this... Uh... This gets us a lot of the way there, with our orb scaling. Another echo form. Don't mind if I do. So we can do this. We should have played heat sinks as well, shouldn't we? But we're doubling this too, so that's 40 block. Hmm. In general, we're lacking block cards. Now we can double energy twice, this is going to be a big turn. Play Creative AI again, we play Capacitor again for the orb slots. Or we can play. It's in our discard pile, do we have. We don't have any dazes yet, so we'll do that. And I think we'll turbo. And we could end up getting a huge Sunder off here, depending on how many cards we can play. I think we'll try and do that. To get as many cards as possible. Does that do it? Almost. Solid fight. Yeah, the creative AI is very good. I don't think we need a second one, though. But that does give us the scaling that we otherwise lack with this deck. We'll take some upgrades. Do we open this chest? We are foregoing a strike removal to open this chest. I think that's fine. Oh yeah, we're definitely we're definitely foregoing a strike removal. A normality we absolutely have to remove. Uh, I think we'll upgrade capacitor. And then yeah, we're uh, we're removing this. We have a kunai. We have a chemical X. We have two reinforced bodies. Okay, so we'll do this, obviously. And then we'll work out exactly what we want to do. How many? How often do we proc Kunai? Attacks are Cold Snap, Ball Lightning, Strike, Strike, Bullseye. That is it. I don't think that's good enough. I think we certainly buy the Chemical X with the two... Um, with the two reinforced bodies, that is a very good card. Uh, do we go liquid bronze for the heart? I don't know if we need to. Ancient pot for like a random bias cognition. Again against the heart. I think we can build against the heart now. I think that's what we do. Awaken one is also a difficult fight. Duplication potion is fantastic, we'll take that. Do we take a second one? Instead of a fire potion? Yeah. Alright, so. So that's now a, a pretty good win condition against the heart. We duplicate an echo form. Uh, we'll upgrade echo form as well, and the reason is because it doesn't it doesn't exhaust when you don't play it. And it's such a hard win condition for our deck that we absolutely need it to be played whenever we can. Uh, three colorless cards to our deck. What could these be? Um, 
All right, so there's some interesting choices here. What does Apotheosis do, first of all? It upgrades Turbo, it upgrades Bullseye, it upgrades Cold Snap. That's not good enough. We don't take that. Um, Enlightenment? Oh man, if only we had some card draw. This deck would be very good. Well, we have a Finesse, which I think with, with an Apotheosis and with an Oddly Smooth Stone probably is worth taking over nothing. Yeah. Uh, we could consider something like a Purity, although, again, I don't know exactly what we are... what we're exhausting. Just our Strikes and a Defend. Self-Repair when we don't need it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we need that. Thinking about an Enlightenment. I think it would need an upgrade, though. For it to be the whole combat rather than the turn. There is definitely a possibility of our hand getting clogged with stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. We'll take this and we'll upgrade it. After this Elite Fight, assuming we don't need to rest after it. Which I don't think we will. So we take a small hit here. But we get lightning orbs for it. So that is totally fine. Hmm, it's an awkward turn, isn't it? That is an awkward turn. What would we seek? We'd seek Asunder, I think. Seek Asunder and... Hmm. Don't know. Sunder. Hmm. <laughs> Just not that many good options. Uh, Alright, so we're killing this with Sunder. And then we'll get like a... All Lightning and then we block with Reinforced Body. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Oh yeah, because we can we can hologram as well. So maybe we do this. If we can do this. We'd have four energy. We'd do that. Mm, it's not great. Okay. We'll do this. Uh, the thirty-five damage. So we'll just block. We have chemical X. Oh my goodness, we have chemical X. That is a tilter. Um. Grab a Sunder again, maybe. We'll just grab our ball, our ball lightning. Or even a Zap. Yeah, Zap does enough. Oh, come on now. Good grief. Alright, you win. We'll do this instead. We can echo form defend, defend. Uh, we can self-repair twice. And then defrag. Capacitor. Reinforce body with chemical X. I remembered we had it this time. And we have a buffer, which we can double. That's always nice to be able to do. Uh, we can deep breath, so we get block. We can finesse. Um, are we losing our buffer here? I think we're always losing our buffer here. Get another echo form, because that's very fair. Okay, so... Fossilized Helix is superb. And Essence of Steel, I don't think, is better than anything that we have. Uh, Charge Battery Plus. That lets us do a turn of setup occasionally. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Actually, again, it's block that we don't need. No, we can't actually upgrade enlightenment here, of course, because we have to recall. I'd forgotten that. Uh, we can though instead play echo form. Now we've got to be careful about what powers we play here against the awakened one. We don't want to play too many. Specifically, I don't know if we want to play Creative AI. I suspect we might not. We will play Static Discharge, though. And in fact, we'll play two Static Discharges. We can self-repair the Reinforced Body. So we're taking a large hit this turn. double that then we'll double energy we have a hologram so we can hologram our reinforced body that's no problem now we'll put a frost orb in. in fact we'll put a couple of orbs in play like ball lightning cold snap is fine and then we can yeah, we'll just keep it nice and simple. I think we'll play this, and then we'll play this, and then we'll reinforce body. And again, we get a lot of block. Again, we'll get our orbs in play. So now I think we have to defend the old-fashioned way. Uh, anything we desperately... Yeah, we need to draw a defrag, so we can't really play deep breath. Uh, doing 38. We are defending for 30. We have a reinforced body in hand. So I think we're going to have to use it. Although, no, actually, this is going to... Presumably this is going to do some damage. I think we're okay taking the risk. Otherwise we lose our buffer, that's all. Yeah, nice. So yeah, we'll play defrag twice. See what we draw with this. Uh, we're almost there, but not quite. So we can go like bullseye, strike, reinforce body. Two more lightning orbs. Then this. Grab reinforce body again. See, it's just a never-ending cycle of block, which is nice. Play this, this, this. We will play that. Um, just to get it out of our hand. So we can draw the cards that do damage again. Such as... Can we Sunder? We can't Sunder. It's unfortunate. We can cold snap though. When we do that, we're locked with 21 right now. He's hitting for 48, so we can play two mana worth of stuff. Hologram bullseye. That will dual cast as well. Good stuff. And then Sunder for the kill. We'll try and get as much junk out of our hand as we can now. Creative AI is great. Self-repair is great. Get rid of the defend. We have plenty of defensive cards. Uh, Hello World isn't exactly what I was thinking of. I think I'll play it, but not double it. Do that. We're blocking for 18. We need to block for... 30 more, so we can do this. Now we're blocking for 21. We need to block for 30 more, yeah. Static Discharge isn't going to do anything for us. We can 
do recursion though, that's fine. Uh, blocking for 24. Uh, capacitor is nice. Okay, so this is, uh, this was a tough fight for this deck. And I think it's, the fact that it made it through without any problems at all is a testament to how strong it is. And we have some things that are going to be good, specifically against the heart, like the Static Discharge. Good fight. All right. We have a lot of potions as well. So I think I'm feeling pretty good against uh, about the heart fight at the moment. I think we're in very good shape. Uh, we can now upgrade our enlightenment so that everything costs one forever. Uh, do we buy a second capacitor? We could buy a cool headed. Maybe we buy a cool headed or maybe we buy a skim. How good is Skim? With our mana reduction stuff, that seems like it'll be very good. Specifically, we can make Sunder very cheap. Uh, okay, so we can... We'll Skim first, because we don't need the extra, extra energy. Again, we got no block cards. It's really quite unfortunate. Uh, can we cycle enough to dual cast a Frost Orb? I think we can. I think we keep double energy in hand. So we can do something like... One, two, three, and then dual cast. And then we, we're taking 26, so we defend, defend. And then we can play Capacitor Plus. Okay, we lost a focus, which is fairly bad news for us. But well, we're seeking a reinforced body for sure. We don't have Echo Form in play yet. So we seek reinforced body and maybe like Bullseye. Just to allow us to turn around. Seems fine. We have a hologram in hand as well. Let's play our self repair. I don't know actually. Might need it. We'll do that. Okay, there's our echo form. So I think we play our echo form. And then we can turbo. Anything we desperately need to draw? Creative AI would be nice, but I think we're fine just taking the block. And then we can reinforce body. Seems good. So we're struggling a little bit to do damage. We play that. We can again grab our reinforce body. We lost a strength this time. That's definitely better than losing a focus. No doubt about that. Uh, we can't play finesse first, so let's do, let's play defend first. Hmm. Again, this deck just lacks a little bit of punch to get it over the line. We still need to block for a bit more. 30, 39. So maybe now is when we double energy. We 
We block for 60 if we play this right now. So yeah, I think we have to double energy. So you can play like Sunder, Hologram, Sunder, because energy is absolutely no issue right now. Play Creative AI, AI as well. How much do we need to block for? We need to play this for three mana. So we'll just play all our cards, I think. We'll keep the Defend in hand. Okay, so there's our Enlightenment. Finally showed up. Duel the Turbo as well, that's fine. And then we duel this. I was hoping to hit this guy. We didn't. 21 times 3. My goodness. Okay. You can just like cold snap. Turbo. Reinforce body. That gets us a little bit of block. really like to draw Sunder. As it turns out, we can just strike this guy to death. And I think that's absolutely fine. Alright, so I think we've finally got there with this. Finally got there. Without taking damage. I think some more Echo Forms is uh, perfectly fine. <laughs> Chemical X is pretty silly, I'm not going to lie. Alright, we did it. That took a while. Uh, no thank you. Let's do this. Alright. So Focus Potion always gets drunk. Uh, we are, I think, defend double energy. Defend double energy, what would that do? Um, so we can seek our Echo Form. Seeking our opening hand is superb. Um, so we'll defend, and then we might even duplicate the Seek. So if we did that, what would we do? We'd grab Echo Form, Static Discharge, Defrag Capacitor. Maybe we should grab a Reinforced Body for next turn, rather than... Rather than the capacitor? Seems fine. Okay. Uh, echo form defrag. Then static reinforced body. Then we turbo and then we double energy. Then we echo form. Oh, we needed to. Oh, we need to duplicate that. That was dumb. Oh dear. Then we static discharge, uh, then we creative AI, AI rather. And then we static discharge. And then we ball lightning. And then we artifact the vulnerable. And pass. Okay. We got a storm. Uh, the big hit first time. And the first card we play is doubled, so we can we could just play reinforced. We 
could lead with I think we have to lead with either hologram or reinforced otherwise we lo we lose our buffer stack we could just hologram and be okay with losing our buffer stack grab like a we can double this even if we do that Probably grab our turbo and our ball lightning. Oh, we can get a hologram back. Oh, I'd forgotten that. Okay, yeah, that's much better. So now we can storm. Uh, zap. Is there any need to lose our buffer stack? We want static discharge to do stuff, right? Or do we? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. So we can ball lightning, hologram, zap. All right. So now, we can duplicate the defrag, and I think that's what we do. We take some damage to do this. And in fact, yeah, we triplicate it, of course, because... Uh... Because of Echo Form as well. So we want to take a little bit of damage here, but not too much. How much are these doing? 16. So 16 times 3 it'll be every time he hits us. So that's 48 damage. So the damage cap is that. So we only want that to happen like five times. So we need to block for 14. Hologram gets a zap back. Let's block for 13. Good enough. Block for 11. It's fine as well. Oh no, because the oh dear, that was a that was a mistake because the frost orb, of course. That block for us as well. Oh dear, never mind. Well, doubling bullseye seems pretty good. Again, we'll take some take some hits to do that. It's fine. Oh, we need to weak now if we're going to get him for the next cycle because he'll get artifact charges. Play that, play that. Doing a lot of damage to him. We can play Finesse, then we'll play Enlightenment, so we get a one one cost Sunder. We'll do that, and then we'll Sunder, and then we will Reinforce Body. And I think he probably just kills himself here. I think so. Behold, the heart killing itself. GG. That was a fun run, certainly more difficult than last time. We had to uh, do some slightly non-standard things to make that one work. Runic Pyramid runs are always a lot of fun, I think. And there we go, we have done it. Ascension 2 on the defect. That is our ninth win in a row, which is very solid indeed. Two perfects as well. We almost got beyond perfect uh, for perfecting two, for perfecting three boss fights rather. Instead, we only got two. But that was a good one. 1474 is the score. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thank you for watching though. Uh, next time it is the Watcher on Ascension 2. Until then, goodbye.